after all our previous UGC net examination, we have given you a paper analysis. So in those paper analysis, we have told you uh, from which subject how many questions uh, were asked. So you can all view those videos uh, if you have not seen them before. So we can view those videos in our uh, channel. I will also link the link of those videos in this comment section of this video. As well as you will also get this paper analysis in our website in a PDF format so that you can download it in the PDF format and you will be able to plan your preparation strategy accordingly. So again in this video we are doing the same. So in this uh, video I am going to explain you from which subject how many questions they have asked and accordingly you can see what are the subjects that you can leave in your preparation. There are few subjects which are not necessary. So in UGC net examination as you can see there are total of 10 units. In all those 10 units there are total of 23 subjects that they are asking. But all these 23 subjects doing all of them completing all of them is kind of uh, becomes it sometimes it becomes very imp uh, impossible because you have only 5 to 6 months for preparation. If you include your revision time also so roughly you have 4 months for preparation. So in those 4 months it is very difficult to cover all these 23 subjects. So generally what students do is they leave a few subjects they do not prepare these subjects because the number of questions that they are asking from these subjects are very less as well as because UGNET examination do not have any negative marking so you can take benefit of those negative marking uh, because obviously if they are not they are asking one or two questions from those subjects only so you can e easily guess the answers in those questions. So let us go subject wise first of all. So for the very first subject is digital logic. So in June 2019 from digital logic subject they have asked only three questions. The second is your programming logic or programming methodology C, C++ and object oriented programming. From all these subjects they have asked five questions. From data structures and algorithms they have asked six, six questions. From theory of computation they have asked seven questions. Compiler design it is four questions. Operating system it is seven questions. Computer architecture and organization they are asking seven questions. Database management system they are asking eight questions. Computer networks they are asking eleven questions. Data discrete mathematics they are asking 11 questions, data mining they are asking only one question, software engineering is 8 questions, Unix is one question, they have not asked any single question from microprocessor this year, from linear programming they are asking only one question, computer graphics 4 questions, artificial intelligence 12 questions, from HTML or you can say XML they are asking 2 questions, from advanced database management system where uh, you have no SQL as well as big data they are asking only one question and then you have mobile computing and IoT from this part they, are, they have asked only one question. Now out of all these subjects you can see uh, there are few subjects that, that they have asked very few questions for example linear programming is there. If you are going to cover linear programming it is going to take hell lot of time because the subject itself is very lengthy as well as the topic itself are very complex and if you have to spend so much of time just for one single question then it is not really worth it as well as because they have not asked any microprocessor questions so obviously uh, it is not really worth it to prepare microprocessor and from HTML and XML part because this part is very common I mean you do not have to do special preparation for HTML and XML it is hardly going to take you one day of preparation for HTML and XML and so you can plan you do not have to study you know one whole week you do not have to spend one whole week in HTML XML. If you see the timetable that I have given you for your exam preparation I have not included a few subjects in, in, the, in that timetable. For example I have not included HTML and XML in that timetable because I really feel that all of you already have some idea you already know something about HTML and XML so you do not have to spend a lot of time in HTML and XML. As well as if you see NoSQL and Big Data you don't have to spend one whole week in NoSQL and Big Data because they are only asking one question. So maximum you can spend is one or two days or you can say six to seven hours of preparation for NoSQL is more than enough. So the major and the most important subjects that you can prepare they are digital logic. You do not, you should not leave digital logic, you should not leave C, data structures, algorithms, C++ because all these subjects are interlinked with each other. If you are going to cover data structures, to cover data structures you need a basics of C as well as C++. To cover algorithms you need a basics of 
data structure. So all these three subjects are actually interrelated with each other. If you're going to do any one of these subjects, obviously you're not going to cover the entire syllabus thoroughly. Secondly, you cannot leave operating system, you cannot leave computer architecture organization. And theory of computation is also a very important part. Compiler design subject is based on theory of computation. So if you are leaving theory of computation, then you cannot study compiler design. So it is better that if you're going to study both of them, so study them together because from TOC plus compiler design, they have asked total of 11 questions. If I go unit wise, so this is the analysis I've given you subject wise. If I go unit wise, so you can see from unit one, unit one include discrete mathematics as well as linear programming. So they have asked a total of 12 questions. And from linear programming itself, they have asked only one question. So that means your discrete mathematics subject becomes very, very important. From discrete mathematics, they are asking 11 questions. No way you cannot leave this subject at all because this is one of the most important subject in your entire preparation because the basics of discrete mathematics are going to be applied in other subjects also. For example, in algorithms, in data structures, in uh, other subjects where you have to count probability, permutations and combinations. So in all those topics, in all those uh, areas, discrete mathematics is going to create a basics for you. So you cannot leave discrete mathematics at all at any point of time. Secondly, your uh, digital logic plus compiler, uh, digital logic plus computer architecture organization plus microprocessor. This is your unit two. And from unit two, they have asked 10 questions. So you can clearly see out of these three subjects, they have not asked anything from uh, microprocessor. So obviously both your digital logic as well as computer architecture organization, it becomes very important. So you cannot leave these two subjects. Your third unit is your programming fundamentals or you can say programming methodology your C, C++, Java, HTML, XML, OOPS, and any other programming language which comes under the category of object-oriented programming. Even you can say .NET. So they have even asked a question from .NET MVC, which is again in the category of object-oriented programming. From all these uh, topics, they have asked 11 marks of questions, as well as computer graphics is also included in this. So I would suggest that you do not have to spend extra time in HTML and XML. Hardly it is going to take one day of preparation for HTML and XML. You do not have to spend extra time in uh, you know some topics for examining pro programming fundamentals or you can say programming methodology that is hardly going to take one or two days for you to prepare so you have to prepare c c plus plus thoroughly you can just go through java fundamental java questions but again don't spend much time in java because they are asking very basic questions from java so uh, in java you can spend three to four days or maximum five days to study java that is more than enough next is your unit number four in unit number four, you have database management system and you have uh, data mining and big data. From this entire unit, they are asking a total of 10 questions. And I've already given you how many marks for, for example, database management system, they're asking DBMS for eight marks. And from data mining and big data, they are only asking one question. So accordingly, you can see how much amount of time you are going to spend in these sections. For example, in unit four, 80% of your time is going to be spent in studying uh, database management system. At rest, 20 to 30 percent of time you can study NoSQL, data mining, and big data. Now, your unit number five is operating system and Unix. So, in Unix, they have included Linux. Now, the commands in Unix as well as the commands in Linux, they are very similar, and even the structure of Unix and Linux is also very, very similar. So, maximum amount of your time you are going to spend in studying operating system, and in the case study of Windows, Unix, and Linux, you are going to spend two or three days, that is more than enough. Okay. When I am saying two or three days, it means one day it is like five to six hours. So, two or three days means it is 12 to 15 hours is more than enough. Now, your unit number six is software engineering. They have asked eight questions software engineering. No compromise in this unit. You have to complete this unit thoroughly. Unit number seven is data structures and algorithm. So from this unit, again, this is also a very important topic because without studying data structures, you cannot study algorithm. Next is your TOC plus compiler design. So compiler design is becoming important day by day. Earlier, they have not asked any question from compiler design in the previous analysis also. I have given you analysis of July 2018 examination. You can see in July 2018, they have not asked even a single question from compiler design. So every year, uh, the questions uh, from it is not necessary every year it changes like for example previous year they have not asked any single question from CD but now this year they are asking questions from compiler design so it changes year by year but again uh, this subject is also very very important even if you are preparing for gate examination so you have to finish your compiler design subject thoroughly next is unit number nine so from unit number nine it is uh, computer networks data communication 
IoT and mobile computing. From IoT and mobile computing, they have only asked one question. So that means your data communication computer networks that becomes your most important part, which is of 11 questions. So you cannot leave this data communication and computer networks. Last but not the least is artificial intelligence and they have asked 12 questions from AI and all these questions are very important and you cannot leave any of these questions anytime. So you see what are the important subjects? You can figure it out automatically because I feel that you are smart enough to figure out what are the subjects you have to study and what are the subjects you don't have to study. And we are mostly focusing on the areas from where you can get maximum number of marks. So we are targeting out of these 100 questions, we are targeting that at least we should be able to do 80 to 90 questions. There are 5 to 10 questions that you can obviously guess. So this is the correct way of preparation because in UGC net, you cannot prepare all these 23 subjects all together. Even you can see you cannot prepare all these 10 units properly. But still out of these 10 units, roughly if you can prepare 8 to 9 units properly, that is more than enough for your exam preparation. I hope this video will help, help you. And if you want to enroll for the live classes uh, that we are providing or if you want to enroll for the pre-recorded video sessions, uh, please let us know. You can find the contact numbers in this video. And uh, if you need any other guidance regarding the exam preparation, please let me know as well as if you want me to make any video on any topic in future which you feel that it will be helpful for every student i'll definitely do it just comment uh, in the comment section that what is the video what is the title of the next video that you want me to make and accordingly i will do my research i'll use my team to do the research uh, for that particular topic so that i can provide you the best information which is available okay and thank you for watching this video all the best